this video, we'll be making a small signal amplifier with the aid of ADL-M1000 Active Learning Module. This kit will help students to develop a solid foundation on science, technology, or engineering. Now, my good friend Greeniel will explain the DC analysis of Class A amplifier. Hi, I'm Rainiel. Now, let's proceed to the DC analysis of the circuit shown. We all know that this circuit can be simplified in this circuit. Okay? Now, by, by calculating the VB using uh, approximate analysis, VB is equal to the voltage divider, uh, using voltage divider principle, find volts. 1.7 kilo ohms plus 6.8 kilo ohms. And the answer to this is 1 volt. Now, this 1 volt is the base voltage with respect to the ground. Now, to find the em emitter voltage, VE, we must subtract 0 0.7 from 1 volt. 1 volt minus 0 0.7 volt equal 0 0.3 volt. Now, uh, in finding the emitter current, we must use Ohm's law, IE is equal to VE over RE. In this figure, RE is equal to 57 ohms. And this will be equal to approximately equal to 5.263 milliampere. Now, this DC emitter current will be used to find internal emitter resistance. Thank you. Thanks, Rino. Now, Fatima will explain the AC analysis. Hi, I'm Fatima, and I'll be explaining the AC analysis of the common emitter amplifier. So, from the DC analysis a while ago, we have our emitter current as 5.263 milliampers. Computing for the internal resistance, we have 4.75 ohms. For the voltage gain, we are to get the loaded resistance, which is the parallel of co collector resistor and the load resistor, which is the 470 and the 1000 ohms. We have 319.728 ohms. For the voltage gain, we compute this by 319.728 ohms over the internal resistance added by the combination of the emitter resistance, which is 47 plus 10. The output voltage will be five times the input voltage. Thank you. So, we're done with the DC and AC analysis. Now, we're, we're now ready to buy the components. Hi, Dad. Thank you, Nikki. Now, here are the components used to build a small signal amplifier or the paracord as seen on the schematic diagram. 29390 for transistor. 247 microfarads capacitor, 220 microfarads capacitor, 10 ohm resistor, 1k ohm resistor, 1.5k, 
two 100 ohms resistor. One four seventy ohms. One six point eight kilo ohms and forty seven ohms resistor. Now let's proceed to the building of the circuit itself, the breadboard. After building the circuit, I will now connect the circuit in the breadboard to the ADALM1000. <laughs> As you can all see, the circuit has been completed and now we're ready to test the circuit using the Pixel Pulse software. So what we need to do is to set the waveform to sine wave and then put, a, put the frequency to 100 hertz and then the volts, the voltage to 2.5, 2 point p volts. the RMS voltage to 2.7 volts and now we can now run the simulation using the play button so you can now see the input has been amplified on channel B to a voltage gain approximately 5 So that's it. We're finished. Hey, brother. What are you doing? Hey. Now we're finished with the class A amplifier. I hope you learned a lot. Bye.